What's up guys? You guys seem to really like the video I made about the pie, so I thought I'd make another helpful video. Uh, I seem to have trouble getting bread at the store during quarantine. I assume you guys are having the exact same difficulty. Uh, it seems like Brenda's going out there with her gloves and uh, mask, and she's buying 4,000 loaves of bread and leaving nothing for the rest of us. So, uh, what I did... I bought a big old bag of flour. They were buy one, get one at the store. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just make my own bread. I'll figure it out. Never done it before. Uh, so I looked up a recipe. I started with a big old mixing bowl like this. I added three cups of flour, uh, a nice tablespoon of yeast, uh, and uh, a tablespoon of salt. That's really all you need. Then uh, warm water. The water, you don't want it too hot because it'll kill the yeast. I mixed up all the dry ingredients, added the water, and then mixed it around a good little bit. Not too much, you know, you don't need a lot. Mix it around, made a little ball, and then covered it. I actually, most people cover it with cling wrap. I happen to have my, uh, uh, the, the pan, the cover for my pots covered this mixing bowl perfectly, so I just used that. I let it rise for two hours. And then I took my cutting board, covered it with uh, with flour, and then went ahead and shaped it into a nice ball. Just by hand, I just kept tucking it under, under the bottom. Then I greased up my Dutch oven here and put it inside. Now, here's one of the things I did. It's optional. You can see this counting down behind me. I did a second rise. I, I greased it up, put the ball in there, and then I put it in the fridge overnight for it to rise again. I still haven't looked at it. It could be terrible in there, and no one's gonna see this. <laughs> no one's gonna see this video because I don't want you to see how terrible my bread came out. But I'm hoping it's good. So here's a couple of things. Number one, <clears throat> my Dutch oven is an older La Crusade. Now, the problem with the older La Crusades is. This phenolic knob here is only good, they say, to about 380 degrees. And it's got to cook in there for 450, for like 30 minutes. It's not a long time, but it's 450 degrees. Now, supposedly, they don't melt. They just crack. So, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. We shall see. If it does, I'll have to buy a new knob for my... <laughs> my like you said but as soon as this finishes counting down we're going to preheat our oven and I'm going to show you what we're going to do to the dough it's almost time to open it's the moment of truth time to see if this uh, if this dough came out alright I feel like I'm waiting for the shuttle so because it was in the fridge we had to uh, bring it up back up to room temperature so it had to sit on the counter for an hour Again, it's an optional thing. You don't have to do it, but I chose to do it. Now let's see what our, our dough looks like. There it is. If you see in here, I actually added rosemary. So let's go ahead and bake. Let's get this at the 450. So that's gonna take a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and scar my dough. That way when it rises, you know, it'll have a nice cool look to it. Uh, then we're going to add some salt on top. Don't need to add a ton. When this gets up to temperature, I'm going to cook it with, with it covered for 30 minutes and then we're going to remove the top and cook it for like another 20 or so until it gets a nice crust to it. Let's see how it comes out. Alright, she's up to temperature so 
Now I just gotta put her in that oven. I can't hold you and do that, so you just gotta trust me. Here she goes. Man, that is one really hot oven. That is. That's a hell of a lot hotter, hotter than 350. When you open that thing, it's just a blast of heat in your face. It's gonna be difficult getting that thing out of there. I don't really have hot pads. I'm just gonna use a towel. Hopefully, it t hopefully, it towels up to the job. How do you end up in the emergency room? You know, in the middle of a pandemic. Well, he was baking bread because he's a moron. All right, well, let's see how this works. I'm happy to report my lid didn't crack. Here's the bread. She's coming up nicely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in there for maybe another like. 20 minutes or so get it a nice uh dark crust oh one thing i forgot i forgot to put olive oil on it i'm gonna i'm gonna dab some olive oil on it before i put it back in all right i got her back in she's going for another 20 minutes we'll see how she comes out hopefully it's a nice crust on there i added some uh i dabbed it with a little olive oil on top i should have done that before i put it in to begin with but Whatever, we'll see. And this is this ugly thing is my pizza stone. I took it out because I didn't want it in there. But I'm very happy to report my lid didn't crack. Look at that. Still fine. Yeah, took a gamble and a one. <laughs> they say that the newer phenolic tips are, uh, are rated higher, and I figured the only difference is they made them a little thicker. So what I did was when I took it out, I didn't take pick the lid up by the handle I used the sides because I figure it's probably brittle when it's hot like that and it'll probably cool down and be fine so for right now still in one piece happy about that we'll see in about 15 minutes how this bread comes out all right I think it came out great I uh, had to open the door because the smoke detector was going off I don't know why there's no smoke coming out but maybe it was just the heat but look at how golden brown that is yeah she's still toasty damn you can see you can see how hot this thing is let's see if we can let's see if we can get this out on a cutting board Yeah, just gonna let that thing cool for a bit, and then uh, we'll try to crack it open. And that's how she came out. First time making bread. It's a nice rose. Look, listen to that. It's a nice rosemary bread. All right, hope you guys dig that. I uh, posted pictures of my pancakes this morning, and a lot of people are... I've never made pancakes before. I made them for the first time this morning, and a lot of people are like, how the hell did you make that? So I guess I'm going to have to make a video on how to make pancakes. So at any rate, hope you guys dig that. Click the like button, subscribe. I uh, hope you guys are surviving this thing all right. Yeah, the like button really helps the channel. Even if you don't want to subscribe, Let's say you're not a YouTube person, you're like, ah, I don't really care. Click that like button. Just give it a gentle little, ah, that's all you gotta do. Helps me out. <laughs> all right, hope you guys like it. Click the like button, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll catch you guys next video. In case you guys are wondering, the bread is amazing. I've been uh, dipping it in some oil and pepper, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and make some toast with it. I know I didn't film the beginning with like the mixing of the dry ingredients i'm sorry uh if you want to see a more detailed thing about that i'd be happy to make a follow up i'll remake all the bread if you really need to see that i didn't think about it when i when i first made it um but i'll when i make the pancake video i'll go in way more depth because it's crucial this is basically just flour salt yeast mix uh, and I'm pretty certain I put some uh, in there. Anyway, 
I, when I get to making some toast. So, I'll chat with you guys a little later. Love it. Ooh.